Hi guys, it's in our sign show. In this video, I'm going to be talking about vaginal dryness. And this is because I get a lot of questions about this. So like I said before now, my videos are going to be centered on questions I usually get in my DM because I'm very sure there are a lot of persons who have these concerns but cannot approach the right people about it and they are keeping it to themselves and it's becoming a challenging situation. So I know that most of them might find this interesting and might watch the video and get some sort of help or solution. So if this video is for you, please stay tuned. Normally, the walls of the vagina is lubricated by a thin layer of fluid. Now, this fluid is maintained by the hormone called estrogen. Estrogen also helps to keep the lining of the vagina thick, elastic, and healthy. A depletion in the amount of estrogen secreted or produced brings about the lack of moisture of the vagina or the dryness of the vagina. So a lot of women usually experience vaginal dryness most times during sexual intercourse. This is not because it is only during sexual intercourse of vagina should be wet. No, it's because most women do not really observe the fluid or how moisturized the vagina should be. So it's only during sexual intercourse where there is friction, where there is something going in there that they will experience the pain and probably their partners would complain that they are actually dry. So this happens basically because there is a drop in the secretion of estrogen. Also, the Bartholin gland is supposed to secrete fluid, especially when the woman is aroused during sexual intercourse. So having established that a drop in the level of estrogen is what actually influences the weightiness of the vagina, let's see the conditions that could actually lead to a drop in the level of estrogen. The first one on the list is menopause. It's very clear that women during menopause lose interest, naturally lose interest, for sex they always have a drop in the level of estrogen such that their vagina becomes thin it does not stay elastic as it used to be and it becomes dry also breastfeeding and childbirth the next one is radiation and chemotherapy we also have factors like um, surgical removal of the ovaries anti-estrogen medications for treating fibroids all of these are factors that actually affect the hormone secretion that is estrogen it brings a depletion in the secretion of estrogen which also affects the lubrication of the vagina other factors are also they like cold um medications allergy medications in particular like cold medications so most times you should observe that when you're on cold medications this your vagina might not be as wet as it used to be you also have dodging and not enough foreplay this is very important like this is one of the very common factors not enough foreplay vaginal dryness is something that affects a lot of persons a lot of women even though some of them may not be able to say it out but the truth is it is a big risk for you not to say it because it comes with a lot of challenges which affects your sexual health okay now there are lots of treatment options available which you would actually be given if you sought for help and they include medications which could come in the form of rings, creams, tablets, you could have moisturizers, you could have lubricants which you could actually use before having sexual intercourse. Also regular sexual activity is highly highly recommended for people who have vaginal dryness. Now one of the factors I spoke about as a reason for having vaginal dryness was not having enough foreplay so that comes into play too as one of the remedies having enough foreplay actually contributes or enhances vaginal weightiness because during this process the Bartholin's gland is always um, stimulated which helps to bring out the fluid that helps to keep the vagina moist so it's highly recommended that 
the right places should be touched for women the clitoris so if the right places are actually being stimulated during sexual intercourse it is going to enhance the wetness of the vagina for women the clitoris so whoever is your partner should be encouraged or people should try new approaches enough for play sexual stimulation because this will help the bartholin gland that is if your bartholin gland is not um, defective if it doesn't have a cyst or any um, kind of deformity the bartholin gland is definitely going to secrete some moisture some fluid which will help to keep the vagina moist and lubricated and obviously there will be no itching there will be no burning sensation there will be no pain during sexual intercourse because these are the complications that actually comes with um, vaginal dryness during sexual intercourse also there are massages that could be done some mutual form of masturbation touching you know all of this and last but not the least is pelvic floor exercises this is for women who are in the menopausal age it helps to you know strengthen the muscles of the pelvis it helps to tighten the vaginal wall it helps to make it elastic so these are some of the treatment options remedies and if you are using a lubricant please let it be water-based lubricant as an adult you have the right to seek for professional help for, for professional advice where you you find it challenging in your health do not keep quiet these things are things that actually affect a lot of um, people a lot of couples a lot of partners so please if you are having this challenge you can walk into a medical center you can walk into a hospital you can consult virtually and you know get the best solutions Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share, like, and drop your comments. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye guys. Bye.